how to fire TikTok pixel events using Pixel Your Site. First of all, uh, if you use Pixel Your Site Professional to install the TikTok tag, uh, the plugin will automatically insert the tag on every page of your uh, WordPress website. It will um, add or fire the default page view event. It's an event uh, present on every page of your website. And if you use WooCommerce, um, Easy Digital Downloads, CarFlows, we will fire e-commerce specific events tracking those plugins as well. So you will have view content on single product pages or um, on downloads or uh, on car flows, flows or landing pages. Um, we will have an add to cart and we will have that uh, TikTok specific event that tracks transactions fire when a purchase takes place. Uh, but if for some reason you need to fire some other events, it's possible. And uh, in this video, I will show you exactly what you need to do. So go to uh, Pixel Your Site and go to Events. Oh, just to show you something, uh, the plug, the TikTok tag, it's installed using uh, Pixel Your Site Professional. So we have the TikTok tag ID right here. And if you go to events, you can um, configure your own events, add a new event. And now you have to um, give this event a name. This is a, a name that just you can see. So it's for internal use. We will give the event the real name when we define the event um, a bit later. Now you have a few triggers. Uh, Pixel Your Site allows you to fire events tracking various, various actions. Uh, for example, you can uh, fire this event uh, on a page visit and you can use URL contains or URL match. Uh, you can fire this event on clicks on HTML links or clicks on HTML selectors. Um, this is very uh, flexible and I will use this an, as, a, as an example. Uh, you can have a mouse over CSS selector, page scroll and uh, post type. But I will use this one. And uh, let's go to the website and select uh, an action that we want to fire that event. So uh, what I want to do is to fire this event when someone uh, sends a message. So uses this form to send a message. So basically when you click this send message button. Um, and to do this, I want to identify the button classes or ID. So this is the CSS selector. And it's relatively simple. Inspect and as you can see right here, there are two classes for this button. Uh, you probably can add your own custom classes or cl custom IDs. It depends on how every element is implemented. But in this case, I would just use um, this particular class. Copy. Go back to the plugin and paste the class right here. This is a class, so I need a, a, a dot in front of it. So now I have my trigger. I will um, fire this event when someone clicks on this form button. And let's go and configure the event. Enable TikTok. And uh, you need to select the event name from the list. TikTok doesn't support uh, custom events, so you don't um, have the ability to fire events with your uh, custom names. You just need to select from this list. In this case, I will select a submit form and let's see if it works like this. Save. Go back to the website, refresh the page, make sure you clear all your caches, um, Cloudflare or anything that can um, serve an older version of your page. And now just complete the form message and 
click on the button. But before that, let's see uh, the um, TikTok tag helper is this uh, extension right here. I have another video on the channel showing you how to test your uh, TikTok tag. And as you can see, there are no events detected. For some reason, they don't um, detect with this uh, testing tool the page view event, but it's there, it's fired. And once I send the message, I will have a submit form button. But there is a warning, and the warning is um, about content ID. So they want me to send an extra parameter with this event. Uh, I'm not sure it's mandatory because uh, I will use this event to, to create a, an audience, not for dynamic retargeting. Anyway, I can add the uh, content ID, no worries. Edit your event and go right here, add parameters and add custom parameter, content ID. And you can have um, a fixed value or you can use um, the um, dynamic values available with Pixels Eye Professional and the Super Pack. In this case, I have the Super Pack installed, you probably have it too. So uh, copy this and add it right here. Um, it will um, get the page ID dynamically. So instead of this, you'll see the, the actual page ID. So let's save. and do another test, refresh the page. Again, no event detected. And send message. And now um, TikTok is happy, no warnings for this event. So uh, this is how you can fire your own events. You can uh, use various triggers and once you have this event you can uh, create uh, audiences and um, retarget or target specific segments of your audience like people that uh, submitted that form or on this page i have various sections uh, click on this link or scroll the page or visit the url with this particular um, address so uh, it's quite flexible and there is no need for you to code, to add events code and mess with this uh, complicated stuff. It's relatively easy. Uh, for some, it will be a bit complicated to get the um, CSS selector, but um, as, you, as you just saw, it's actually very easy. You just need to, again, uh, do a right click and look for the classes or IDs and use them as your trigger. So it's not that complicated. Uh, anyway, that's it. This is how you can um, fire your uh, TikTok tag events using Pixel Your Site.